My boys are, I consider them my BOGO babies. They were born um, just after 9 a.m. on the day after Thanksgiving. Our NICU experience was thankfully very good, but very long. Um, Emmett was a little bit worse off when, we, when he first arrived and he stayed for 68 days. And my other son, Warren, stayed for 88 days out of being purely stubborn. <laughs> Joya really helped us tremendously right when they first came home from the NICU. Uh, they made it so they could even come over to my home. So being able to not have to take both of my infant sons all across town when my husband was at work was huge. The therapist that we've been involved with, it, it was amazing because especially being a new parent, there's so much information that's out there and having two people that are specialists in that that actually got to get to know me and my boys and our environment was huge. I was so overwhelmed with all of the information that's out there now to where what milestone should they be hitting and, and how can we help them get to that. And they they were able to come in and reassure and you know kind of back up things that I was seeing and really felt very heard, which was amazing. I honestly do not know where we would be without Joya. I feel like I would be a lot more stressed. I would be a lot more anxious and, and worried about how they were doing and developing and how they would be able to communicate with others because even coming here, they've given me so much information and tools to be able to teach them how to communicate and be happy doing it. The day after Thanksgiving is always going to uh, just hit that, that special way with realizing how you know scary things were, but just now just how far we've come and, and just how hopeful we are.